Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today you'll be playtesting my first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working on here for a few months. While you play, I'll be giving background information on our development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. This lobby area was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked out for loitering. We got enough photos to recreate it though, so whatever. Welp, you made it to the end of the first level. Congrats, I guess. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a tad underwhelmed, though. Not by any fault of your own, of course, but, uh... Look, I'll just be straight with you. You're the only person who signed up to playtest, so... Thanks for playing, I guess. Alright, just give me a second, I'll close the game for you. That's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you can... Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been... working... Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to go completely against what I'm supposed to do here, but you are not going the right way. At all. I didn't even know there was an elevator in the level, so the fact that you're going up it probably means it isn't supposed to happen. So, go back down when it gets to the top, please? Y yeah, that's probably bad news. I'd go back down. Alright. I've now resigned to the fact that you're probably not going to stop going this way. So fine. It's your job as the playtester to find stuff we didn't expect, so keep going. Well, this looks ominous. Wait, the end? This isn't the end, though. There's still two more levels you're supposed to complete. I mean, unless the other developers change something without telling me. Which, to be completely honest, wouldn't surprise me at this point. You, you should be on the most recent version of the game, and none of this was here before. 
The game files came straight off of my computer earlier this morning, and I can personally assure you that this is not the end. Why would it just end here? <sighs> you know what? There's not really much that left in this level anyway, and it's not super important, so we can just skip to level two. Okay, level two isn't opening. Great. As if nothing else could go bad during this. Let me try this. Can't use cheat commands unless the server has SV cheat set to one. What is that even supposed to mean? We don't even have servers. <sighs> okay, let me just get this straight. You turned on power to an elevator that I was not aware of, then took said elevator to an area I was not aware of, then went into a room that I was not aware of, where there was a message that is not only verifiably not true, but that I was also not aware of. Wow. The end. Hmm. How could all of this have been created without me knowing? Like, like I said before, all of the game files came off of my computer this morning, right before you got here. And all of this wasn't in the level when it was. Was this added before? No, no. It couldn't have been. I would have noticed it. So all of this had to have been added this morning. I'm baffled, honestly. They'd have to have a time machine to be able to add all of this or be faster than light, or we'd have to be inside the game, but that's probably the stupidest. <laughs> okay, that definitely just broke something, so I'll assume I was on the right track with that line of thought. I guess the game doesn't like self-awareness. So we are, we are in the game. Hmm. Either that or it's just a very conveniently timed glitch, but I doubt it. How does being inside of a game work? I mean, I guess I, I should know since I'm in one apparently, but it seems normal so far. Well, as normal as this is, I mean. I'd ask you what you think, but you're not exactly the most talkative, so I doubt I'd get an answer. Why are we even in the game to begin with? And better yet, where do you come in all this? You're supposed to be playtesting a game that I made! But if I'm inside of it, then how could I, one, create the game that you're playing, and two, contact you to even play it? It just doesn't make any sense. Did someone else at JMC contact you? Are you playtesting a game where you play as a playtester, or are you just play-
Hi, my ne- Did something just happen? I, f I thought we were- Well, that was weird. Sorry, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the, uh, lead developer. Let's get started. Did something just happen? So I just wanted to check back in about the play tested because last time I called you, you said you guys only had one guy who signed up? Yeah, about that. We've contacted some of our friends to see if they'd be willing to play test. And we've got a couple of people who said that they were interested, but they aren't sure if they're available. So you still only have one? How can you confirm this of now? You told me about this a week ago and you said you would handle it then and you still haven't. Look, Matt. We're trying, but everyone is super busy right now. Look. You know how it is. I mean, I get it. But I've already told you what could happen to JMC if we don't get enough playtests to get past the beta stages. We're already just barely scraping by as it is. Matthew, we've got a plan for this. You just gotta give us a bit more time. Look, just figure it out, alright? I'll call you back in a bit.
Wait, level two? Since when is there an alternate path to level two? Why would we even add that? Hold on, just ignore that for now. Go, or just don't listen to me, that's cool. Oh, wait, I recognize this. This was the original way that level two was supposed to start. Yeah, you'd go through that elevator, and then you'd go through here to an overlook. And, okay, look, point is, this was scrapped a while ago, so I'm not sure how it got here. I'll figure it out later. Hey, I guess that did lead to level two. Well, actual level two, not the old one. Anyway, just play as normal. Here we go, the first puzzle! This may take a little while for you to complete. We've designed hundreds of concepts for it, and it's been carefully crafted to be one of the most challenging puzzles in video game history. I don't mean to hype myself up or anything, but I think I did a pretty good job. Best of luck. Congratulations! You are now in the 0.00001% of gamers who were capable of completing that puzzle. Or probably capable. After all, you're the only person who's played it. Wait, did I tell you that already? Optimization is for losers, 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 losers. Oh, there you are. I, uh, lost you for a second. Alright, you made it to the van. This next part is going to be a driving section. To steer, it's the same controls as walking, and to shoot, it's the left mouse button. You'll need to shoot at the guys with toilets in their back seats and... Oh my god. Did they forget to put gas in the van again? <sighs> okay, we're just going to have to skip that for now. Sorry. Let me open level three. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, alright, we should be loaded. 